Cricket's second June update will have a massive impact on how we work with text and objects on the Canvas in Design space. I'll walk you through update version 7.11. My name is Ruth, this is Hanks, Maker Mentor. If you've updated to this version but don't have all these features, don't panic. In the Cricut release notes about this update, they placed a note at the beginning to let us know some of the text improvements from this update will be rolling out slower than the update itself and everyone should get them over the next few weeks. Be sure to check out the description of this video. I have links for a bunch of free helpful resources, including videos about the major updates to Design Space for iOS and Android. Let's start with the updates to the bounding box since I think those will be applicable as soon as you're using version 7.11. The bounding box is the box that appears around objects on the canvas when you select them. This is the bounding box you're used to in Design Space. At each of the corners, it had an icon that allowed you to work with the object. This is what it looks like now. We'll go over what the icons used to do and how to do those same actions now. You had the X to delete, a circling arrow to rotate, separating arrows to drag to resize, and a padlock to lock and unlock the proportions of the image. If you had clicked on the padlock, it would have shown as unlocked, and the resize icon would show four arrows instead of two. Resize and rotate can still be done using the bounding box. If you hover over any of the corners of the bounding box, it will bring up this arrow. Click and drag to resize. To rotate, move your cursor further away from the corners of the bounding box until a curved arrow appears. Then click and drag to rotate. If you want to rotate a specific amount, you can type it in here in the edit menu at the top. You can also resize to specific dimensions here as well. But what about deleting and locking or unlocking the proportions? You have three options for how to delete. Use the right click menu, select delete in the layers panel, or use the backspace or delete key on your keyboard. Locking and unlocking object proportions can now only be done in the edit bar. Now on to the text improvements that you might or might not have right away. And you might notice here I had a couple of bugs. Text wrapping is back. It was released at the end of March with version 7.5, but quickly disappeared. Hopefully it'll stay this time. When you're typing in text, the default is going to be single line text with center alignment. You can change it by dragging the handles on the left and right sides of your text box or going to the alignment menu that now has wrap off and wrap on at the bottom. If you turn it off, all the text reverts to a single line. If you turn it back on and add more text to that text box, the text box will stay the same width and the new text will be added to a new line. If you click and drag on the handles on the top and bottom of the text box, you can add space above and below your text. The alignment menu allows you to select where to position your text in the box, at the top, the bottom, or at center, a few other things about the update. This is what resizing and rotating lines looks like. You can now choose to edit text when you use the right click menu, instead of trying to double click on the text. On the home page, the carousel is back at the top. When you click on the link of a Cricut Contributing Artist profile, it will now open in a web browser instead of in Design Space. This is useful because it allows you to browse their images and shared projects without needing to install, update, or open Design Space. If you wanna make something, you will have to open Design Space, if this was helpful, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing for more content. I've included links to other update videos and more in the description of this video. Thanks for watching Hank's Maker Mentor, where I help you learn how to make. Until next time, bye.